AIRS is an instrument that flies on a NASA satellite in Earth orbit and collects data about Earth's atmosphere. What we're seeing in this animation, made with real data from the AIRS instrument, is temperature at about 3,000 feet above the surface of the Earth. Dark purple are coldest and red is warmest. The animation runs from early December 2013 through the first week of 2014. The polar vortex is a region of very cold air that forms in the northern hemisphere over the Arctic in wintertime. The reason it's so cold is that this is a region that gets no sunlight at all for the entire winter season. A similar vortex forms in the southern hemisphere in their winter. The polar vortex is normally a distorted donut of cold around the poles. It more or less forms a circle, though not perfectly. In fact, in northern hemisphere, it tends to be more distorted than in the southern hemisphere. This movie starts with a fairly normal polar vortex concentrated mostly over Canada and the Arctic. But quickly, that vortex moves south over eastern North America. And toward the end of the movie, you see that it becomes very elongated with a big purple slash across the entire North Pole with that pool of cold air now sitting throughout the eastern United States. And you can see unusually low temperatures down into northern Florida. What's unusual here was that a low-pressure system developed around Hudson Bay, and as with all low-pressure systems in the northern hemisphere, the air moved counterclockwise around it, and that counterclockwise movement brought very cold air from the Arctic all the way down into the east coast of the United States. The polar vortex doesn't act alone. The jet stream is actually closely associated with it. In the northern hemisphere, the jet stream is a band of very strong winds that move from west to east and extend around the entire globe at middle latitudes. And the jet stream always bounds the polar vortex to the south. What was unusual here, obviously, is that the jet moved so far southward and brought with it that air. As cold air moved south, it broke records throughout the eastern United States as much as 40 degrees below normal. And cold air extended as far as the normally warm Gulf of Mexico and northern Florida. 